everyone welcome back to pure lottie so today's video is another video for my royal beauty christy cross pure collab so i hope you enjoy today's video if you do make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and change notifications to all so you don't miss any of my future videos so let's jump in as always let's start off with my brows so i'm just going in and cleaning them up with my elf brow pencil and gel and then i jump in with my concealer and clean them up Then I jump into my eye primer. Today I'm using the P. Louise in shade 0.5. And then into the palette, going into the shade It Just Does, and we're placing that in the crease and blending it out. Then into the main colour for this look, Side Effect. So it is a bright hot pink. And don't forget this is a pressed pigment palette. So the pigment is very, very rich in colour. So start off with a small amount and slowly build it up to where you want. And where you want the areas quite pigmented if you just use the tapping motion rather than blending it out. So I'm packing quite a bit of the pigment on the outer edge, just so that is the brighter area. And now picking up the shade Lumos, the matte white, and I'm just focusing on the inner corners to about halfway, just to lighten that pink up so it looks like an ombre effect. Next, I jump off camera and I do pop on my liner and lashes. I am using the Lovely Lashes from the Royal Beauty Christie Cross Pure Collab. Next, for face, I jump into my e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer and then I use my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation in 110 Rose Vanilla and then my Tarte Shape Tape in 12B Fair Beige Concealer and then I set it all in place using my Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder.
And to add the color back into my face, I'm going into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and then my Flower Beauty Warm Hibiscus Blush. And for the lower lash line, I jump into the shade Hurtful. I then go into the shimmer shade Cafe Disco and I use that on my inner corners. Now I found wetting my brush with my setting spray gave it much better payoff, so I did use that for this and then I just use that same shade on my brow bones, on my nose and my cupid's bow. And for the rest of my highlight, I go into my Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I then set it all in place with setting spray. Now this is actually the Flower Beauty bottle, but it actually has the MAC Prep and Prime Fix It spray in it. And then I jump into my MAC Liquid Lipstick for my lips. I then add some Cafe Disco to the centre of my lips. And then finish up with some mascara. So that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new, don't forget to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to change the notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!